For those of you who've been following my channel for a long time, you know that my channel is basically a tutorial channel on how to improve your Mac for gaming. Except the only problem is that only goes so far because Macs can't accommodate every single game. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn your Mac into Windows. I'm going to show you how to get Windows on Mac. And if you've made it to this video, you've probably done enough research to where you have found two solutions. One of them is something called Parallels, and the other thing is called Bootcamp. Now, we are going to go through Bootcamp, but the reason Parallels is bad is because Parallels is essentially an emulator to where it's almost like a video screen of Windows on your Mac. And the reason why that's bad is because if you have Windows and Mac running at the same time, that's going to use a lot of processing power of your computer. The reason Bootcamp is better is that we're taking the hard drive of the computer and essentially cutting it in half to where one side is Mac and one side is Windows. And if you're using the Windows side, for example, the Mac is completely shut down. So it lets your computer focus on only the software that's running. And that's why Bootcamp is a lot better than Parallels. And that's why we're going to be using it right now. So now that we've figured out which way we're going to get Windows on the computer, let me show you guys how to do it. Before the video starts, I just want to say I'm streaming live right now on twitch.tv slash Klein underscore fine. So if you want to stop by, maybe drop a follow, I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, back to the video. By the way, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Valorant today uh, after we get Windows. But in later videos, I'll show you guys how to get uh, Call of Duty Cold War, uh, Warzone, Overwatch, basically any game you could put in the comments. And um, I'll make a video on how to get it starting from scratch, starting from nothing on the Mac. But this is uh, the Valorant video. One more thing before we start. I did did this just as like a practice test before the video and from the start of when I did it to when I had Valorant running on my computer it was about five and a half to six hours so if I were doing this again if I were you uh, give yourself a good amount of time to where you're gonna be able to stay at the computer make sure nothing goes wrong and just like kind of walk it through the process almost but just make sure you have a lot of time so underneath me you can obviously see the tutorial and then my face cam in the corner but the first thing you want to do is search up Windows 10 ISO file and what the ISO file is, I'm going to try to put this in simple terms. Uh, the Mac that you're using already comes with something called Bootcamp. And imagine Bootcamp is like the shell of a house almost. And the ISO file is like all the details of the house. And if you put that into computer terms, uh, Bootcamp is like the availability that it lets you go into Windows. And the ISO file is all the data and everything Windows needs to actually run on your computer. I don't know if that made much sense. Hopefully it did. So after you've chosen the Windows 10 ISO file, click that first one, that first link. And what you'll do is you want to select the edition, depending on what time of like the year or in the future you see this video, the, the select edition options are going to be different for us right now. If you're doing it like a week after this video has been up, there's only going to be one option, which is just Windows 10. But if there are multiple options, just choose the newest one it, that's kind of all you have to do just choose the newest one after you select Windows 10 press confirm and then after that you want to select the language if you're from America and you speak English obviously choose English but if your primary language is like Dutch or something uh, choose Dutch uh, but for the most part, it'll probably be English for this video. After that, you want to press confirm one more time, and then it's going to ask you if you want either 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, I'm not going to get into the details of this, but basically nothing is on 32-bit anymore. Um, so make sure you download 64-bit. And this is one of those times in the video where you need that five hours of time because the ISO file took a good hour or so to download. Uh, be patient with this process. You will get Windows at the end, but a lot of stuff needs to be downloaded. Downloaded. So after you press the 64 bit, it'll go into your downloads like you're seeing in the video now. Uh, once again, just take your time with it. You can go grab a snack, maybe watch Netflix on another phone or something. Uh, just take your time with this. Okay, so after the 64 bit uh, ISO file has been downloaded on your computer, what you want to do is you want to go to the top of your Mac where the search bar is and you want to search up Bootcamp Assistant. And if you remember me talking about the house, this is the shell. This is like the 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 building blocks of the windows. So now once you've opened up Bootcamp Assistant, you want to press continue. And what this will do is this will open up a page where you can allocate a certain amount of space on your computer to give to windows. So the first thing you want to do is where it says ISO image, you want to press choose and you want to find the 64 bit thing that we just downloaded and use that as that file. 
you want to use the 64-bit uh, ISO file that we just downloaded. Now, this next part is very important because you will not be able to change this. What you see underneath the file location that you just chose is a slider. And that slider is asking you how much of your hard drive do you want to give to Mac and how much do you want to give to Windows. When I did it, I did about 600 to 650 gigabytes just because I knew I was playing a lot of games. Let's say, for example, you know you're going to be downloading like GTA, Call of Duty, uh, all these video games on your computer, those are big games and they need a lot of space. So I would recommend for a minimum amount of storage, anywhere from 150 to 250 gigabytes, that's minimum. If you go below that, you're going to have to like delete games to download new games and you don't really want to do that. So I did uh, 600 gigabytes out of my, I think it's 1.03 terabyte uh, Mac, but uh, however much you have, uh, just do it, try to figure out how much storage the game uh, is that you're getting and then um, allocate that much space to the Windows side. So then after you've uh, allocated the correct amount of space that you feel comfortable with, all you have to do is press install and Bootcamp does it all for you. This also takes a very long time. So once again, be patient, maybe get snack number two. Uh, this is why I say don't leave the computer by itself. At one point during the installation process, it'll ask you for your password. Uh, this is just the password to get into like your Mac. So just your normal password. So just uh, type in the password, press okay, and it'll keep installing. When this first happened to me, I jumped out of my chair because Windows uh, shows up on your computer for the first time, which is really cool, uh, which means that we're kind of almost done. Not really, but you'll see what I mean. So this next part is the collecting information part and Windows just does this to make sure like everything is right almost. So you just want to follow the steps. The first thing that it does is it asks for your language, which is United States, US, English, all that stuff. After that, it asks you for a security key. And if you have a Windows like license, you can put one in, but I'm guessing guessing for like almost all of us who just switched from Mac to Windows, we don't have one. It says I don't have a security key, which is fine. Just press that. And then the only thing that happens is if you don't put in a security key, there's a little watermark that shows up on the bottom right that says like activate Windows in the settings. Um, but in a later video, I'll explain how to get rid of that. So you don't really need a security key. After that, it gives you a bunch of options on uh, which type of Windows software you want to use. I just chose Windows 10 Home because that's the ISO file that we downloaded at the beginning of the video. So I just wanted to make sure they both matched. But uh, Windows 10 Home worked for me. After that, it's just the user end license agreement all that you just press uh, read and then you press next and then just a bunch more installing this is the sped up version obviously but it will take a long time so once again be patient so the next part is actually new i didn't even know this was a thing but usually when i did it for the first time cortana who is like the siri for windows uh, I had to enable her myself, but in this uh, new version, which I didn't know about, Cortana just automatically helps you with the process. So I'm going to let you uh, watch my first reaction to this and just follow the steps just as long as I am. Just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. I don't need that. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Oh, wow. Wait, Cortana is like set up automatically? I was able to- Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Holy shit. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? I do. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. The computer's talking to me, cuz. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Now type your credentials. Ah, oh, shit, what's the password? Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. <laughs> Want to set up a pin? Is no an option? I don't think no is an option. It just says create pin. No. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Based on the activities you choose here, you will get a personalized experience as you set up your device. Customize my device? I don't want to customize it. Now let's link your phone and PC using a Microsoft app nah. that can work some magic between your devices. No thanks. We'll send you... 
No thanks. Want to automatically save files and photos to OneDrive? Nope. Only save files to this PC. Your PC comes with a free one month trial of Microsoft 360. No thanks. <laughs> hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? No. Let me do it, Kai. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Right. Looking forward to helping out. Oh my god, why is she so positive? <laughs> Oh, there it is, boys. All right, so after you go through all of that, all the personal settings and everything just like that, you'll eventually be brought back to the Windows, uh, normal Windows page, uh, except the boot camp little icon, like you see it there, is on the screen. Uh, obviously, you want to install whatever it has to install. So just go through that process, press install, let it run, and just uh, be patient again. After it's fully installed, it'll say boot camp is finished installing whatever, and then you just press finish, and then uh, you have Windows on your computer. You're almost done. Uh, just got to download a couple more things. Once you finish downloading the bootcamp installation, um, if it doesn't restart the computer for you, I recommend uh, restarting your computer just because uh, it allows everything to like get into place almost. After your computer is restarted, enter your pin that you put in earlier, the one you created, uh, and you're back at the Windows page. You are almost there. Got to download a couple more things. So the next thing that you want to do is I'm going to assume that none of you guys have any idea how to use Windows because this is your first time using a Windows computer. The next thing we're going to do is download the Apple software update, which is essentially like the way for Windows to be like, okay, I'm on an Apple computer. Uh, so this is how I have to function. It's a little confusing, but all you have to do is go into the bottom left corner of the w and click on that little Windows icon. It's almost like Finder for Mac, but for Windows. Uh, click on that little Windows icon and go up until you see Apple software update. You want to click on that. And then if there are any uh, installations or anything that need to be run, uh, just install them. This also took a very long time. So patience. That's the number one thing in this video. After the Apple software update has been updated on your computer, you're going to want to restart your computer one more time, and then it'll bring you back to the window screen again. The last thing that you want to do, you want to click that windows button again, and you want to go up until you see settings. And then in settings, there's going to be a uh, button called update and security. And you want to click on update and security and you just want to press uh, check for updates. And what that does is it just makes sure everything is uh, updated to where it needs to be. If not, it'll show you that there are uh, updates that need to be downloaded on your computer. And once again, this took a very long time. Um, just wait for the updates to uh, download. Once they're downloaded, uh, just press restart computer again, load up Windows, and this time you will have a perfectly running Windows. We can now focus on uh, downloading Valorant or Warzone or any game. Uh, that we want. So the way we're going to download uh, Valorant is, I'll, I'll show you right now actually, uh, you want to open up Microsoft Edge because that's the uh, that's the only browser that we have right now on the computer. After you go to Microsoft Edge, you don't have to do this step, but I recommend downloading Google Chrome. You can just follow the steps in the video uh, like I show right here. You just type in Chrome download and uh, it shows up uh, obviously right there. Um, you download Google Chrome, the installer, and uh, just let it run. It'll eventually open up if you follow all the steps. It's pretty easy. If you don't know where your um, installer went, if you're new to Windows, uh, just go to that little yellow, uh, it's like a yellow box with the blue like line underneath it. That's the, f like the little file finder uh, for Windows. And then you just want to click on downloads and it should be the only thing in the file because we haven't really downloaded anything else, uh, which is the Google Chrome installer. Uh, download that and then you should have Google Chrome running, which in my opinion is a lot better than Microsoft Edge. Uh, so now we have Google Chrome. Good job. Finally, we can get to the fun stuff. Uh, we will download Valorant now. So what you want to do is you want to open up your newly installed uh, Google Chrome and you want to search in Google uh, Valorant download. And what that does is you want to click on that top link right there and it will bring you to the Valorant installation page, which is really exciting because we're almost there. After that, you want to press that big middle button, play free. I already have an account because you know I play Valorant. Uh, I already had Windows on my computer, but all you have to do is if you don't have a Riot ID, which is the same ID for League of Legends, Legends of Runeterra, and just any other uh, Riot-based game, uh, you can create an account, which is the button on the left. Uh, just go through the create process. It really doesn't take that long. Create an account and then sign in with that account. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to sign in with my credentials because I already have one. Uh, and then it brings you to the actual download the game page, I guess. 
uh, you just press that uh, red button underneath download the game that says download. After that, an installer will download into your Google Chrome. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but I pressed the arrow uh, next to the installer and I pressed open when done. And that means after it's done downloading, it'll just open up by itself. Uh, you just want to press yes to just allow um, Valorant to like be on your computer or whatever. And eventually, once you open it up, uh, this will show up on your screen, which is kind of like the installer, I guess. Uh, all you have to do is press install. I'm pressing uh, additional information or additional options to make sure that it's being installed into the right place. Uh, if it looks just like how my computer does, uh, then you're good. Press install, and then once again, wait for Valorant to install. This actually took a lot less time than I thought it did. Eventually, this will show up on your screen where it's kind of like Yoru with a gun. Uh, looks kind of cool. Uh, all you have to do is sign in with your account again, and then once you press that little red arrow after you've signed in, it knows your account now, and it just has to finish downloading the game. Uh, once again, be patient with it. What this is doing actually is it's not downloading the game immediately. It's downloading Vanguard, Riot Vanguard, which is essentially the anti-cheat for Valorant. Uh, you're not allowed to play Valorant unless you have the anti-cheat installed. So it's downloading the anti-cheat first, and it's gonna ask you to restart your computer, just like I show you in the video. So you restart your computer, you put in your password again, and then after you have restarted your computer for what feels like the 1,000th time, uh, you can check if Vanguard is available on your computer if it's running by pressing that little uh, carrot where you see my mouse is. And uh, if that red kind of arrow pointing down is in that checkbox, uh, then you know Vanguard is installed and you finally can play Valorant. All you have to do is uh, double click on the Valorant logo. Mine is underneath the Google Chrome icon. Uh, you double click that and then you will have Valorant. See, I don't know why mine is like stretched res like that where it loaded up and the, it's not like good on the screen. But all you have to do is you kind of have to like finagle and find where your mouse is. You'll see in the video that my mouse doesn't actually line up to where the where it's actually pressing. Uh, to fix this, just go into the settings options like you see in the video. Uh, go over to that first uh, tab right there. Go over to video and turn full screen to windowed full screen and press apply. Uh, after that, you just want to give it a second and it'll go back into the normal uh, screen. To fix it and put it back into normal full screen mode, change windowed full screen to full screen and change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Press apply and then you will have Valorant. So uh, congratulations. One more thing before uh, this video ends, I wanna show you guys how to jump between Windows and Mac because as you guys know, when Windows is running, Mac is completely shut down. And when Mac is running, Windows is completely shut down. So there are multiple ways to do this. The most simple way is if you wanna get from Windows to Mac, uh, you press that same little carrot in the bottom right and you click on that like silver diamond and you just press restart in Mac OS and then you just press OK, and then that'll shut down Windows and open up the Mac for you, and you'll be back completely uh, where we started. And then if you want to uh, go from Mac to Windows, uh, you just restart Mac, and then you hold down the Alt key or the Option key. It, it, they're the same key, but depending on what computer keyboard you have, it'll either say Alt, A-L-T, or uh, Option. So when you uh, hold down the Alt key, it'll give you an option uh, whether to boot up in Windows or Mac like you're seeing in the video. And then if you choose Windows, it will obviously boot up in Windows uh, like it shows right there. Uh, and if you want to go back to Mac, you'll just click the Mac option. All right, guys, that is how you go from no Windows, no Valorant to Windows and Valorant on a Mac computer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Klein underscore fine. Make sure to leave a like. Comment if you have any problems. Uh, I've had to do this like a thousand times uh, just for this tutorial. I've been through all the issues and everything. Um, so just leave a comment if, uh, if you have a problem, but also leave a comment if it worked for you. Uh, so that's all for me today. Thank you so much for sticking around, and I hope to see you in Valorant.